Hi, I'm Tony, and this is the story of the build of this 31 foot 8 inch J. Benford designed cruising sailboat. From the lofting of the lines to her emerging from the boat shed to receive her keel, masts, and all the other paraphernalia that make up a cruising vessel. Join us on this adventure as we build to patch her and hopefully set off to test her out as a liveaboard cruising vessel. Hi, I'm Tony, this is SV to Patch and uh, this is the record of the build of this sailboat that you see behind me. 31.8 foot J. Benford designed sailing dory. Um, and for, well, a couple of months or so now, I've been working on masts, at least on and off, working on the two masts, building them. And uh, I'm going to start off this week with the very end of the mast build, which is a very good thing. And hopefully that is the last sand on this mast, the main mast. In fact, it would be the last sand on any mast, wouldn't it? So it's the second one filled, sanded. So just need to get another couple of coats of undercoat on there, the primer sealer and the top coat. And all being well, that should happen this weekend. So I want to put a, um, a hole through the mast here for where the wiring comes out. And my idea, which actually an idea I picked up from Garrick, uh, my, idea, my idea is to, to run it out underneath the deck, not at the bottom of the mast, but just come up out tidily underneath the deck. So um, I'm going to measure out, I've just done some highly precision measuring in the boat. One metre ninety-one. I should measure up one metre ninety-one from the bottom of the mast and uh, through the hole. Well, having got that far, and it certainly was a very good far to get to, it was time to move on to a, a new project and a big project and something I know a lot of you have been looking forward to and, and indeed something I've been looking forward to and that is actually fitting the kill. Early this year I made the kill, uh, as you probably know. It's uh, basically a lead filled steel box with uh, and then some kill wood forming the complete kill shape. And that needs to be bolted onto the bottom of this boat here. You know, and the designer quite rightly says that one of the beauties of this, this design is that you can keep the boat low in the shed because you fit the keel at the end of the build. And that's very nice, but uh, you get to the point where you have to fit the keel. <laughs> Well, there's been a big change of plan and, and uh, a few weeks ago I told you that uh, I was going to transport the boat up to a yard, finish off there, get the keel fitted up there and uh, that, for one reason or another, 
isn't going to happen now and I've decided, and it's a good decision, I've decided to fit the keel here in the backyard. To do that obviously the first thing I need to do is, is, is jack the boat up. The keel itself is, is uh, to the top of the keel bolts, bolts on rollers is about 85 centimetres. So the boat needs a good 85 centimetres clearance underneath it. And uh, so it was a case of jacking her up. Now I cut, I got a load of wood off of, off of a local farm, farmer, um, rough old wood, but I chopped it up into, into blocks that I could use for chocking the boat up, blocking the boat up, getting it up. And then it's just a case of jacking her up the front end first and putting some blocks under, then the back up and putting the blocks under and, and so on. Just keep on working her upwards there till I got the, the required height. Took a trip up to a local farmer yesterday and picked up these bits of wood, which I'm now going to turn into wood chocks for underneath the boat so we can jack it up a bit higher. Tatty looking lot, but it's solid enough, a bit damp. We get us up in here. Go 
on, put it down. Put it down. That's fine. Right. Get your foot out. Adjustments now. Yeah. It's a bit far off. Yeah, they are. Down or you're okay? You're good? Yep. You need to talk to me a few minutes, alright? Uh, okay, put it down there. And breathe for a bit. Well, of course, inside on the floors uh, where the keel bolts come through, the keel bolts are all, all lined up to come through the floors, the cross timbers at the bottom of the boat. And uh, I drilled the holes through, but I'd never cut the recesses, the round recesses that the washers and bolts fit in. Uh, the reason for doing that was I wasn't entirely sure until recently <laughs> what I was going to put on top of in, ter in terms of load spreading washers you know plates or whatever but I made me made me decision and uh, cut them We've got this hole cutter that's the right diameter, a bit bigger than the, the washers and obviously I need to centralise it in there so I've just turned up this uh, beautiful bit of wood which slides over there and with a bit of luck look at that, it's marvellous isn't it? We've got to go down to the Depth is the top of those holes. Should we burn it? Six 
16 millimeters it's supposed to be. Perfect. And that's where we leave it for this week. Uh, next job is to sand the top of the keel to make sure we get a good epoxy bond when the keel goes up. Sand it before we drag it under, so I can actually get at it to sand it. And then I hope Kerry will give me a hand to drag that keel under the boat into position. And we'll see about 
lowering the boat down on there. Exciting stuff. Gone well so far. Hopefully it'll go on that way. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Give us your thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I say, we'll be back next time. Bye.